Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some flaked almond biscotti. So biscotti are an Italian biscuit. Biscotti means baked twice. Um, so they're a, a biscuit which you bake once and then you cut them into uh, slices and bake them again uh, so they go very 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 hard. Um, and the Italians like to uh, eat them I believe uh, with uh, their coffee and I think also with some sweet wine. Um, I enjoy mine with a cup of tea basically. So it's quite a simple recipe and doesn't have too many ingredients. So I start off by preheating my oven to 160 degrees Celsius, 140 Celsius with a fan, 325 Fahrenheit and I've got a couple of baking trays which you can line with parchment paper or silicon mats but I've cut some parchment paper strips because I'm going to roll my uh, biscotti on those strips and then place those on the baking tray. So I'll go on to the ingredients and I have 275 grams which is one and two thirds cups plus three tablespoons of plain flour. I have two medium eggs which would be large in the USA 113 grams, half a cup of soft unsalted butter, 150 grams, uh, which is three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. And you may notice when I pour my caster sugar in that I have two different types. Basically, it's all caster sugar, but some of it um, has had vanilla bean pods that I've, I've scraped the seeds out of and used in the past and I put those into the caster sugar to impart a vanilla flavour into it. You don't need to do that but um, because we've got some vanilla extract in the recipe but since I've got it I'm using that. I have um, 110 grams which is one and a quarter cups of flaked almonds or slivered almonds and you can chop those up a little bit if you want to I'm not going to um, I, I like the to be able to see the, the almonds in mine I have six grams one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and three grams half a teaspoon of salt and the first thing we need to do is to cream the butter and the sugar together so I put the sugar into a bowl and there you can see the different color of the caster sugar and I'll add the butter as well. I'm going to cream those together until they're uh, nice and fluffy. And that's good. So I'm going to add in one of the eggs. And the vanilla extract. I'm going to whisk that to get it fully combined. And then I'll add in the second egg and do the same. So that's good enough. I'll just put that to one side for a moment and I'll put my salt and the baking powder into the flour and I'll give that a stir around and then I'm going to add the almonds and stir those through as well. And then I'm going to pour those 
into the wet ingredients and I'm going to simply stir those until everything is combined. And with that quite nicely mixed, I'm going to divide it into three, which will be about 250 grams for each piece. And I'm going to flour my hands as I work with this. And with flour on my hands, I'm going to form that piece of dough into a log, which is about an inch and a quarter in diameter. And I think what I'll do is flour one of my silicon mats and roll it on the silicon mat and then put it onto my parchment paper. And that's good enough like that. So I'm going to put that onto the parchment paper and I'm going to put that onto my baking tray and do the same with the other two. So I have my three rolled out like that and they're going to go into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, I'm going to take them out of the oven and leave them to cool for a few minutes then I'll come back and I'll slice them and uh, put them back into the oven to bake for longer. I baked the biscotti for 30 minutes. I took them out of the oven and put them onto a wire rack just for a, about five minutes. And I've started to slice them. So I've sliced one there and you slice them on a diagonal like this, about half an inch thick. You just have to gauge it, you don't have to be too precise. And then you put them onto the baking tray with the cut side facing down and facing up. And with them all cut like that, I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for a further 15 minutes. I'm going to turn them over halfway through. So after about seven or eight minutes, I take them out, turn them over and put them back in for the remaining time. And then once they've baked for that 15 minutes, I take them out and put them onto a wire rack and allow them to cool down. Then I'll come back and we'll have a taste. So I baked my flaked almond biscotti for a further 15 minutes, turning them over part way through. And I took them out of the oven and I put them onto a wire rack. They're still actually warm, but I can have a taste because uh, they're fully cooked through. So I'll show you what they look like. And they've baked up quite nicely. They're going to be nice and crisp. I've already eaten one, but I'll have a taste of this one. Very, very nice. I get the almond um, crunch and flavour of almond, and I also get the flavour of the vanilla. Uh, nice and light and crisp. Uh, these are perfect with tea or with coffee. And as I said, I, I do believe uh, that uh, some Italians may dip them in uh, their, their wine. I might be wrong, but that's what I, I seem to have read that somewhere. So this is a very easy recipe for a very nice biscuit and they store very well because they, they've dried out they store very well in an airtight container so i hope you've enjoyed the recipe and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my youtube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and i'll put a link below the video as well and i'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking